Hello, I'm Wojtek Benker from the Aquilet Estate. Um, stood in front of our rare breed Northern Dairy Shorthorn cattle. Calves that have just been weaned and they'll stop in the shed for a short time before we get them back rotating around the woodlands and the farm. Um, we're here today um, to talk about a project we're doing with the School of Sustainable Food and Farming and with uh, Climate Spheres UK where we are building, um, we are making some biochar for um, supplementing onto our arable crops in the spring. Um, this is a project that we're really excited to be involved with um, and we're going to talk you through some of the process of how we're making that biochar. Um, we're taking wind uh, sort of blown and fallen branches from around the estate um, not all of them because some of them we like to leave for um, decomposition beetle life fungi and everything else but some that have fallen in places where um, we think it's appropriate to tidy them up we will be taking those uh, cutting them into small sections um, and preparing them ready to go in our biochar kiln to make charcoal and um, if you come over this way you'll see we've made a start collecting some oak um, from around the place in the trailer here this will be um, further sectioned up into smaller smaller sections again possibly a bit shorter than that um, and that will go into our biochar kiln so this is uh, wind-blown timber that's fallen um, off this oak tree and uh, we're cutting it up into small sections which we'll be putting in the biochar hill. So this is the location of our um, kiln which we'll be using to make the charcoal for the biochar. Uh, this is the top section. Uh, these are the various um, air flues which will go underneath and then these, these, these um, tubes will also go then on top once we get the, the burn going. So we'll fill that section and that will go on top of the section that you can just see over here. It will all be filled with timber before we get the burn going. Uh, and we should be, end up with a um, whole amount of charcoal, which we will then make into biochar. Um, very, we're very keen on using biochar and creating that sustainable loop here where we're taking timber that uh, is, is wind blown or fallen, we're turning it into something that we can then, um, or speeding up that process of it becoming um, a, a house for microbes within the soil on our arable operation where we have depleted soils from uh, years of, um, in some places, quite heavy conventional farming. So we're hoping that this biochar, um, which has many, many micro fissures within it, will cause, will create housing for microbes and fungi um, also, which we need to really um, get back into our uh, arable uh, system as we start to move away from the crutch that the sort of more chemical approaches and mechanical approaches have given us over the over the um, past years. So um, here we go.